हेलो एवरीवन आई एम शिवानी एंड वेलकम टू सिविल सीरीज इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी कंप्लीटेड द पार्ट अप टू टाइप ऑफ चेन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी स्टार्ट विद द टिप्स देयर आर फोर टाइप ऑफ स्टेप्स फर्स्ट वन इज क्लोथ और लिनेन टिप क्लोथ और लिनेन टिप नेक्स्ट इज मेटालिक टिप मेटालिक टिप third one is steel tape steel tape and last one is inward tape and this inward tape is mostly used for the measurement of horizontal distance this inward tape has high degree of precision high degree of precision more accuracy is if more accuracy is acquired then we use the inward tape for horizontal distance calculation this inner tape is formed by nickel formed by nickel and steel nickel is 36% and steel is 64% inner tape has low thermal expansion inner tape has low coefficient of thermal expansion and this has a low thermal coefficient of expansion that's why on the inner tape the effect of temperature is less as compared to other tapes and this inward tape is easy to handle and width of this inward tape is 6 mm and available in 30 mm available in 30 meter and 100 meter sizes the next is then these are the few instruments used for the chaining in that first one is arrow so arrow is used to mark the end of the chain to mark the end of chain and this arrow is made by a steel material of 4 mm diameter and length of this arrow is 25 cm to 50 cm length of the length of this arrow is 25 cm to 50 cm the next one is peg peg is of wooden material and this marks the position of stations or the terminal points Okay, terminal points are marked by the help of pegs. And next, the square of this peg is 2.5 to 3 centimeter. Square of this peg is 2.5 to 3 centimeter, and length is 15 centimeter. This is what the shape of the peg. Okay, this is top view. This is front view of this peg. The next is ranging rod. so ranging rod has length of 2 to 3 meter and diameter of this ranging rod is 3 cm and these ranging rods are made by well seasoned timbers well seasoned timbers then next is before that the ranging rod is used to show the intermediate points used to show the inter intermediate points during chaining or during the surveying the next is clinometer clinometer is used to measure angle to measure angle with the help of vertical clinometer is used to measure slope with the help of vertical angle and next is line ranger this line ranger is used for the direct ranging this line ranger is used for the direct ranging then next is next is ranging ranging is process of establishing or fixing the intermediate point between two terminal point okay ranging is process of establishing or fixing intermediate point intermediate point between two terminal points is known as ranging ranging is of two types first one is direct ranging second is indirect ranging indirect ranging direct ranging is done when the two terminal points or the two ends of the survey lines are visible 
two ends of survey lines are visible then we use direct ranging and if two ends of survey lines two ends of survey lines are not visible then we use indirect ranging are not visible then we use indirect ranging this ring direct ranging example is when we do the ranging on horizontal surface and if we do the ranging on this curved surface then indirect ranging is used indirect ranging is also known as reciprocal ranging reciprocal ranging then next is then error due to incorrect chain okay error due to incorrect chain means in that two cases are there in first case if chain is too long and second case is if chain is too short chain is too long and second is chain is too short okay in that this is the true distance and if chain is too long then major distance is smaller than the true distance okay and if chain is too short this is the true distance and if we measure this distance with the help of too short chain then that length or the major distance is larger than the true distance okay if major distance is more than sorry is less than true distance and here major distance is more than true distance here the correction is here the correction is negative and error is positive here the correction is positive and error is negative okay so how to find the error due to incorrect chain so there is one formula that correct distance or true distance equal to l dash by l into major distance this l dash is nothing but a true too long or too short condition and small l is true length of the chain okay if the true length of the chain is 20 cm and that length is or the chain is too long by 0.2 cm then l dash then l is equals to 20 cm because the length of the chain is 20 cm l dash is l plus 0.2 because this is too long so add this this is 20 plus 0.2 equals to 22 20.2 so this is what the l dash for too long condition if this is too short too short by 0.2 cm then this l dash value is 20 minus 0.2 okay 19.98 so this is what the value of l dash for too short condition and l dash for too long condition the next is next is tape correction there are seven tape corrections in that first is correction for absolute length to for formula to find out the correction for absolute length is ca equals to capital l into c divided by l so ca is correction for absolute length correction for absolute length capital l is measured length capital l is measured length c is correction per tape length correction per tape length and small l is designated length of tape designated length of tape okay small c and small l is related to tape and capital ca and capital l is related to length measurement the next correction is correction for temperature so formula to find out the correction for temperature is c t equals to alpha into l into t minus t not 
सी टी इक्वल्स टू अल्फा इंटू एल इंटू टी माइनस टी नॉट पॉजिटिव करेक्शन वेन दिस पॉजिटिव करेक्शन इज हैपन्स वेन कैपिटल टी इज ग्रेटर दैन टी नॉट एंड निगेटिव करेक्शन वेन कैपिटल टी इज लेस दैन टी नॉट इफ कैपिटल टी इज ग्रेटर दैन टी नॉट देन राइज इज हैपन और राइज इन टेम्परेचर हैपन्स एंड इफ सेकेंड कंडीशन टी इज लेस दैन टी नॉट देन लोअर और फॉल द कंडीशन The next correction is correction for pull or tension. So this formula to find out the correction for pull or tension is C pull equals to P minus P naught into L divided by A E. If P is greater than P naught, then this is positive correction. If P is less than P naught, this is negative correction. The next is correction for sag. Correction for sag is C sag equal to W L square W W square L divided by 24 P square. C sag equal to W square L divided by 24 P square. And this is important that sag correction is always negative. sag correction is always negative the next is correction for slope correction for slope is c slope equal to h square divided by 2l so this is the formula to find out the correction for slope next correction for alignment Correction for alignment is find by d square divided by 2l1 plus d square divided by 2l2. Okay, so this is AB surface. This AB A to C. Okay, this is the point C. A to C and C to B is a correct distance. Okay, so this one is correct distance, and this is the major distance. Okay, in that this is l1. and this is l2 okay this is major distance a here the point is d okay a d b is a major distance and a c b is a correct distance okay and to find out the correction for this alignment this is also known as bad ranging to find out the correction for alignment this is the formula that d square divided by 2 l1 plus d square divided by 2 l2 and this is always negative the next is reduction to c level or correction for mean so seventh last is reduction to c level or correction for mean c level formula is c mean c level equal to l into h divided by r which is always negative l into h divided by r this is always negative so these are the seven tip corrections then next is chain survey so in the chain survey first we set up the main station point okay so for example these are the main station point and if we join these main station lines by chain survey so these are the station points and line joined to these station point okay so these are these are the main station points and these lines are main station line if we join the point between the station if we join the points and the longest line of joining the station is nothing but a base line so this is the base line for next survey components so this is the base line next the line joins the main station point and the point on the base line this point is nothing but a tie line this is the tie line which is also known as subsidiary line subsidiary 
line then next is check line so check line is the line between base line and main station line so this is the check line and this check line is used this check line is used to check the accuracy of the field work to check the accuracy of field work so this is how we done the chain surveying and this phenomenon is known as triangulation okay triangulation for triangulation purpose we use these kind of lines and by the help of triangulation we reduce the error or we eliminate the error during surveying okay so this is what the chain surveying and uh, thank you for watching this video